Whether you're machining circular grooves into the face of a workpiece or widening the initial groove, base grooving is not always a straightforward process. Speeds and feeds, chip evacuation, tool wear, and tool rigidity all play very important roles in your tool selection. However, tool and workpiece clearances on the initial plunge must be recognized to avoid costly damage to the workpiece and tool holder. Kyocera's face groove holders have a recommended minimum face groove diameter, DXN, and a maximum face groove diameter, D8XX. These two measurements indicate the diameter range for the initial plunge to prevent the curved blade from interfering with the edges of the groove when entering the workpiece. The blades of these face grooving tools provide added support under the insert to give the holder the rigidity it needs to eliminate chattering and vibrations from occurring. The curved side of the blade is designed to follow the initial groove into the workpiece without contacting the edges of the groove. Kyocera's KGDF's Twitch Blade Face Groove System features blades that are interchangeable with the holder, allowing the operator to easily replace a damaged blade or switch out sizes without removing the holder from the machine. With this system, the blade is what will determine the groove width, maximum depth, and diameter ranges that can be achieved. After selecting a tool that does not interfere with the part during the initial plunge, you may then widen the groove inward towards the center or outward from the initial groove. It is normally recommended to start at your outside targeted groove diameter and make your way inward for better chip control.